Hi there. In this video, I'm going to make an introduction into Apache Mahout, which is an Apache project that runs on top of the Apache Hadoop project. Uh, Mahout uh, introduces uh, machine learning capabilities to Hadoop, to the Hadoop framework, and that, that happens in three main areas. Uh, the first one being collaborative filtering, which is basically like a recommendation engine. This would be similar to what you see on Amazon.com or other similar e-commerce uh, sites uh, where based on what you have uh, your own preferences and preferences of people who bought or ordered uh, similar products, then the engine will make recommendations for you. And uh, then the other aspect is also classification, where you have uh, um, categories that are already predefined, and then Mahout is capable of going in and mining and um, assigning the items to the categories that they would belong to. And then there is the other side, which is clustering, where it's not necessarily that there is the categories are defined, but they, they, they would be uh, inferred, basically. And that would be similar to, for example, how Google News, where it would go in and get all the, um, the news for the day, for example, and then the, the, that news would be uh, determined, you know, what uh, categories uh, they represent. Um, so in this example, we are talking, let's say, take a simple example of uh, uh, people buying movies. So let's say at Netflix, for example. And uh, so we have um, around seven movies, and they have, you know, these are like list of current movies in, in theaters. And uh, they are, you know, they have IDs, movies have IDs, and they belong to categories. Now the category at this point is not very relevant. I just wanted to make it easier for understanding. And uh, customers, you know, these are sample customer names, when the customers also have IDs. If we have, um, and this is the list of tra the transactions, basically, you know, customer one um, bought these movies and customer one gave these ratings to the movies. And so the five is the best, best rating and one would be the lowest rating. And there is a, a legend here with one, you know, with the colors uh, for each rating and uh, the variation and uh, between between them. And similar here to, to, you know, customer one, to Mike Jones, you have Steve Thomas, they have, you know, he bought, you know, there is an overlap of the movies that he bought and there is also his ratings, and so on. If we do an analysis on, on this data, so if we go here to this tab, and um, there is some quick analysis here, you know, to get information about, you know, the average rating for the movies and so on, but trying to reduce it to the most basic aspect. Again, I'm limited by YouTube's 15-minute uh, rule, uh, is that, um, if this is a matrix, uh, a matrix of the, the 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 overlap of the preferences between the users, and here you can see that user one, uh, user five, and user one actually they seem to overlap quite a lot. Versus, for example, between user two and user one, they do not overlap. And uh, whereas yellow, it means it's uh, something in the middle. Um, so with that we can see that actually user 5 and uh, user 4 and user 1 are actually very similar. So user 1 and user 5 are similar and then user uh, 4 and 5 are actually uh, are also similar. If we go here and apply that to the movies and this is where uh, that the data is coming from. Uh, the rating, and now this is trying to just simplify it where uh, the colors, you know, it's either red, yellow, or green. So, 
uh, anything that's below 3 is considered red and anything that's above 3 is considered green. So simplifying the choices, making them 3 choices instead of 5. So we can see here that if we take user 1 and user 5, they are identical uh, on their choices uh, and their ratings. Now, user 5 bought um, more movies than did um, user 1. And we can see that between user 5 and user 4, there are similarities also. And uh, uh, there, are, there are similarities, basically. And so the question here is based on this. If user 1 now was, were to come into the site and wants to order a movie, what should the engine recommend for him? And if we look here, then we can see that there is the option of the next, you know, the ones that user 1 did not buy are, uh, and there is, uh, is, you have 104 and 106. Now, 104, as far as we said that there is similarity between user 5 and user 1, uh, but there is also here, if you notice that, uh, so you should be 104 or 106 based on that. But for also you see here between user 4 and user 5, who's similar uh, to 4, 5 and 4 are similar, there is a higher rating for uh, n number 104. So based on that, the expectation is that it would be num the first option would be uh, movie number 104 and the next option would be movie number 106. So if we take that and you know we have a look at it in the, um, in, the in Java and the implementation of the project in Eclipse. So this is a project. Uh, there is a a simple uh, Java class, a movie recommender, and these are the imports for it. And uh, just to give you a quick look at the reference libraries, you can see the Mahout core, the other Hadoop, and imports, and Lucene, and the other items. And then if we go in, basically the, we start by creating the model, and the model is based on the input data, which is what we started with. So if we look, for example, here, this is the input data, which is what we talked about. This is the user, these are the items, and these are the ratings. And uh, if we come back, so it reads it. It's going here. And um, then we create uh, the similarity based on the model using uh, Pearson's correlation similarity. And this is one of the options. And Pearson's uh, correlation uh, has some limitations. Uh, one of them is that it doesn't take into consideration uh, the number of items in which two users' preferences overlap. Uh, there are other options, like the Euclidean distance similarity. Um, but for this example, we are using the uh, Pearson's. And uh, in this example here, um, then, you know, we create the neighborhood, uh, nearest neighborhood, and the number here is, the first parameter is basically the neighborhood side, neighborhood size, which is two, uh, up to two users. Now, of course, you know, with the increased size, there will be performance um, and uh, resource uh, ramifications. And of course, there is also precision. Uh, um, there are, you know, uh, impact on the recommendation. And then here you can see here. This is as far as when we get into the, the what we are passing to the recommender is that for user one. So let's start here with just give me what is you know just one recommendation for user one. If I'm gonna run it, and I run it. And then you will see that it recommended actually item number 104 and it gave, it expects that he will, rec uh, user 1 will give it a rating of 4.25. And uh, if we were to say now 
give me two, the next two, then and then run that again. And you can see it actually again based similar to what we expected in the analysis is that it recommended number 106 and uh, for for the, for the user one and uh, it expects that he will give it a recommendation of four. So this was a quick introduction to uh, Apache Mahout, the recommendation uh, engine aspect of it, and there will be other videos explaining other aspects. Thank you.